So I recently watched one of those Hitman Kill Everyone videos again, you know, the ones where they kill everyone, and I'll be honest, it was a good time. And while I do love watching a man run around committing mass homicide in a flamingo suit, I did start to notice a bit of a trend between all of these videos. 47 always ends up in some kind of shootout, and that got me wondering, would it even be possible to kill everyone without raising any suspicion? Could I eliminate an entire map with the most anyone noticing being the sound of a coin dropping nearby? Alright, so there's only really one rule. Any action that would make a real person go, oh wow, I'm in danger, immediately ends the run. Some things are situational though, and like if I hear an overflowing sink at 2am, I'm already saying my prayers, but one at a party is not really any cause for concern. And number two, by continuing this video, you are agreeing to the fact that I didn't get pissed off after an embarrassingly low number of runs, and didn't just begin to save up the same run over and over again out of spite like a little baby boy. I didn't do that. Okay, maybe I did, but that, that wasn't it. The challenge was just to kill. I never had to do it. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. That's pretty hidden. Hey, ma'am. No, oh, shoot. Uh, no problems here. I bet Gary lost this. Such a dick. Now I have two guns. That is Nolan Cassidy. Nolan Cassidy is down. Oh, did he? Work. I don't care. This is just very chill. What? How? Are you kidding? God. So if you haven't noticed yet, um, I didn't really have any sort of strategy going in. I kind of just started blasting. And it was pretty clear that this wasn't going to work. There was just too many moving parts within the level, so there was no way I was going to be able to keep track of all the bodies. I decided it would probably be best if I moved in sections, so I decided to start with this house and the park beside it. Hello, boys. The house itself went fine, but what I didn't realize Hello, was sir. that the dozens of highly trained guards I just fought were just a red herring for the most dangerous section of this run. The park. There were only a few NPCs permanently inside, a ranger who never leaves his post, and a couple never two feet away from each other. But the real reason this section was so difficult was because of one man. A man who could make even the toughest squirm and cause others to flee just by a glance. A man handing out flyers. Who won't me, stop sir. talking you about politics. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. How do I kill you? Have a fly. Oh. Oh my god. No, no, I'm, I'm good. Yes, no. I'm listening. Wonderful. What? No, I'm not. Oh, are you a registered voter? Are you a registered no. voter? I don't like you. What the hell? <sighs> oh, god damn it! I wanna just push him in the well. Just let me push him in the well. Please, dude, it would be so funny if you let me push him in the freaking. Hey! Somebody wanna help us out over here! Uh. Mother, finally, Jesus Christ, dude. Where's my coin? Where? That's a black screen. What? A, wh who? What? So here's probably a good time to mention that I've never actually played on this map, and so some of my body hiding spots were a bit sloppy. How can he see him if there's a window there? I got most of them fixed up right away, but one alert was giving me a bit of trouble. About 30 seconds from my load file, whenever I was cleaning up elsewhere, Hitman would tell me a body was found, with the only indication being this can-looking sort of thing. Hang where? Who's? There's a door! The culprit turned out to be the candidate for the upcoming local election, who upon approaching the park house, would freak out and run inside, even though no bodies were visible. After a couple more rounds of observation though, I did manage to find out why. Is this just broken? Like... Okay, I think I figured it out now. So as it turns out, the candidate has x-ray vision and was spying the guy in the garage from the street through the window, which was dumb because A, the people living in this house have no self-decency and have not washed these windows in a decade, and B, Blakey Boy is 5'5 five five and not that guy. What's even worse though is that at almost the exact same time Blake sees the body in the garage, Old Boy here takes a little stroll through the park and happens to spot our flyer friend, who is still tormenting me beyond the grave. 
you now, at this point, a lesser man would admit his faults, learn from his mistakes, and restart the run of Changed Man. But a real man would go, no, this is my run, you can't have it, and spend 20 minutes optimizing a rope that would get him to the park just in time to kill the mailman. Oh, shit. Get in the bush, get in the bush, get in the bush. Hey, man. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. I'm just fine. I won't lie, even though I managed to complete the section, I was a bit stressed out, so I thought that going for a walk might help with things. <laughs> muffin, muffin. Soda can, not soda can't, baby. No, sh nope. Oh, ah, shit. Ah. Be right in there. You know what? That seems pretty interesting. Uh, you can chill for now. Onwards. While out of my walk, I managed to clear 80% of the remaining map with little trouble. This was because most of the population within it was security, which I've come to realize with their simple pathing and lack of getting distracted, are the easiest part of this challenge. So, you know, if you're ever planning on killing a large group of people as well, make sure to do it in an area with a lot of guards. That left just one main area. The party. It can be split into two sections, the house and the backyard. I decided to go with the house first, but before I could get started, this happened. What the? Oh, hi. I'm on my way out. Bye. <laughs> What the fuck? Whoa! What did you mean? What the hell was that? With precautions taken, I was ready to begin the last stage of the challenge. The house in the front weren't going to be hard. The problem was in the backyard. It was the most crowded area on the map with a total of NPCs. It would have been the hardest part of the challenge. However, since the very first time I had seen it on my very first run, I had already been devising a plan just for this moment. A plan I like to call... Just kind of throw stuff. Who is searching? What? How are you? What the? F looking good, man. Looking good. What? Thank you, but how are you? Oh my god, there's still this guy. Hey man, can I get a burger? Ready. You're the thing, your grill's not even on. No, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm so, um. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Soda. <laughs> and with that, the party was over, leaving myself as the last attendant. There was no one left to tell me to leave or let me know that they're heading out themselves, and no one left to let me know about the wonders of flyers. And yet. Despite that fact, there's no actual way to turn off the music, so there's no way to end the party. And even weirder is that the doors of the crowd themselves don't go away.
that's it. That's that's the challenge. I I did it. I beat it. I won. I won. I beat it. I won the challenge. Okay, thanks. Bye, sub. Bye. Uh, thanks. Bye. 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 Sub. So.